Many patients come and talk to me about sleep apnea and their first question is, what is it? This is something in, in, that brings the airways and sleep very close together. Because what sleep apnea is, is a occasional collapse of the airway that can happen at night. And the reason it often happens at night when someone sleeps is because the, air, the muscles that protect the airway are relaxed when you fall asleep. They're relaxed if you have alcohol or they're relaxed if you're taking medications that relax your muscles. And when those muscles relax, the airway collapses as well. And a little bit of collapse is not a problem, but if it collapses too much, now not enough air can get through the airways, get into the lungs. And the brain is very sensitive to knowing when the airway is open or when it's closed. So if the airway closes down too much, the brain will wake up and it will wake up abruptly. The problem is, is that if you fall back asleep very quickly after waking up, you won't remember it the next day. And it's often the spouse that picks up on a lot of these cues. If the airway closes down too much, you can stop breathing or pause breathing in the middle of the night. And I can have patients with significant cases of sleep apnea that may stop breathing up to 20, 30, or 40 times an hour. And multiply that by seven or eight hours of sleep, that adds up to potentially hundreds of pauses of breathing uh, during sleep. And that is still hard to notice for many patients. And pausing breathing hundreds of times per night is a significant issue for someone's sleep, their daytime function, and their health. And what happens is if you, someone was sleeping and someone pinches off their nose so they can't breathe, the oxygen level goes down and they'll usually wake up with stress. Severity of sleep apnea can be described in terms of how often these airway closures happen. If they're occurring zero to five times an hour, that's a relatively acceptable number of, of occurrences and doctors don't tend to be very aggressive in, in treating it. But those who have sleep apnea can be described at, in three groups, mild, moderate, and severe. And they have to do with how many times the airway closes off per hour of sleep. Five to 15 closures is, is relatively mild. 15 to 30 is in the moderate or the middle group of sleep apnea. And anything more than 30 pauses of breathing per hour is considered severe, which is the highest category. And the brain will wake up with a fight or flight response, dumping stress hormones into the body that can take hours to go away. And if the brain is waking up many times in the middle of the night because of the stress response, that introduces stresses on the heart, the blood vessels, and it increases the risk for things like heart attacks, strokes, diabetes.